Well, today's Fab Mom is all about the bad moms. You got four minutes to get Roscoe to the vet, so I love you kids. Get out, get out. Emergency PTA meeting today at 5 o'clock. Will we see you there? I'll totally get a sitter on a Tuesday night. I'm going to be late for my first soccer practice. I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying. Well, try harder. I'm so tired of trying to be this perfect mom. I'm done. <laughs> Look familiar? Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, and Christina Applegate are overworked and underappreciated moms in the new movie, Bat Moms. And when they ditch their mom duties for a jolt of fun and freedom, well, that's a hilarious adventure. Our fat mom, Jill Simonia, talked to the mom stars, and she's here with tips for tackling burnout before the busy school year starts. Yes, this movie is so funny, over the top, every single cliche you can imagine, but it is so relatable because it's all about burnout. And, you know, as modern moms, we find ourselves getting pushed to this point where we eventually just, we, we, we can't get a hold of it, and then we flip out and wonder why we feel so out of control. Okay, so yeah. now, as a movie <laughs> critic, we're going to take your advice, and so we'll go see that, okay? <laughs> she good. said it's good. Now, Jill also asked Mila Kunis and Kristen Bell um, their number one tip for getting over a breaking point. So let's see what they said. Is, what is your number one tip for getting over the breaking points, if you've had a breaking point so far? If you've had a breaking point, get your girlfriends together. I really do think having like a group of friends is is so important. I have an amazing husband, I have an amazing family, but I so rely on my group of girls. Because you're on this trail, you have to remember I'm an autonomous woman who needs friends and wants friends and I need to be a wife, so have a date night. You have to remind yourself of how to put your gas mask on first. <laughs> the gas mask. Yeah. We, need oh, we all have those, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about uh, what they said? What they said is so true because right now we're in a place where, like I said, we get out of control and we don't know how to keep a handle on it. And the key is getting ahead of the burnout and making the choices so that we don't get to that point, you know? Okay. Well, taking care of ourselves as women starts with us making it a priority. Mm -hmm. Now, you say, Jill, coordinate where your kid's school is and activities and places that you need to do errands at the very start of the school year. Right. Wow. I like to sort of reassess when August comes. My kids are starting school in a few weeks, and so mm -hmm. I like to say, okay, a friend of mine once told me, get yourself into this, she calls it the golden triangle. Her name is Samantha Edis. She's a work lifestyle expert. And she <laughs> says, make sure that your school, your work, and uh, your uh, your school, your work, and where all of your errands go fall right That's in between smart. that same triangle so that you're not going out of your way. Mm -hmm. Last year, we spent 81 hours a year in traffic as Los Angeles, and moms don't have time for that. No, so that make sure that you coordinate anyway. everything together. Okay, that's yeah. a good tip. Now, let's talk about getting involved at your child's school. Most parents want to help out in some way, but mm -hmm. it's tough if you're working. I know for me, working nights, I was the room parent during the day. Oh, good for you. <laughs> I give you credit. That's a lot of work. <laughs> Thank you. Long that's time a, ago. But that's, a lot of, yeah. that's a lot of work, but the thing is you picked something where your kids could see you in the classroom mm -hmm. and that I think is the number one key when it comes time to sign up for all those volunteer activities you want to make sure that you volunteer at your school only if your kid can see you because that's why we're doing it we want our kids to see us involved so that they get that sense of pride and confidence when yeah. they're at school with their friends so being the room mom's a lot of work I don't know if anyone can do that but uh, make sure you're there only when your kid can see you in the classroom at an event. You don't need to be tucked away in the library organizing the books. You know, I should say I was one of several. So I didn't wow. do it by myself, but That's I was good. one of several. Okay. <laughs> and finally, schedule yourself some breaks once in a while. Yeah. Right? It's really yeah. Important. I used to think that this was ridiculous and that I would rather power through and get things done rather than rest. But research shows us that we do, in fact, need rest to refresh our brains because that's how we're going to be productive in the long run. And my latest thing is on Sunday nights, Sunday mm. nights are for me. Uh -huh. I take an hour and a half while my husband takes the kids to grandma and grandpa's soak. and I literally do nothing. I wish I could soak, <laughs> but I do nothing. I lay on the couch. If though, I did want to share this, if you want something fancier, there is a service called zeal.com, uh -huh. Z-E-E-L, and they are licensed, vetted, and insured on-demand massages, Stop 365 it. days a year. You Literally, you can go online or go on the app. You, they come to your house. <laughs> Nobody knows you're getting a massage but you. And I mean, it's really this, incredible. Yeah. This is the most important <laughs> tip ever. But the main thing 
thing is, it just relax. You have to yeah. schedule that time because it really does add up. I felt it the past few months. Oh, add gosh. Oh, we love you, Jill. Thank you. I love you. Uh, and we will have <laughs> more on Bat Moms and some local services and tools to help avoid burnout this Friday morning on our news from 4.30 to 7 a.m. And you can always ask her anything on our CBS LA Facebook page. Always good to see you, Jill. You and uh, we will be back here next week, next Wednesday Yay. at 5 o'clock. Hope you enjoy this new set. Isn't this great? I do. Okay. I love it. Paul, back to you. <laughs>